Well, with COVID-19 test sites now popping up all over the tri-state, tests are now making it to communities hardest hit by the virus. But will it be enough to get Hamilton County out of the red? WCPO 9 News reporter Lisa Smith went to one test location in Lincoln Heights, where the health center leader believes more hot spots are on the way. Lines of cars with people waiting to get tested for COVID-19. I'm hopeful that the more informed people are on their status, then the more we can start seeing a slowdown in the spread um, and that we see lives be saved. Local health advocates have been pushing for more testing for months, particularly in communities of color. One location that is also now seeing drive up testing is the Lincoln Heights Health Center, part of the Healthcare Connection. I think that still there is um, so much information out there that uh, people are not um, sure what to do and where to go and how to make it happen for themselves. Dolores Lindsay founded the health center 53 years ago. She says the test site has seen positive cases. The center serves residents from 23 Hamilton County communities, including two hot zip codes, 45240 and 45231. We know that we know that there are many more out there and we know that because of the uh, conditions that we know some of our patients uh, live in. In the first two weeks, they saw the numbers double at this drive up testing site in Lincoln Heights. Now they want to target their testing to areas that they think will be the next hot spots. Lachlan, um, particularly, we believe is probably going to be the next quote unquote hot spot. Springdale is another area they're watching. Because we know that that's where a lot of the minority population that we serve live. And we know that they live in multi-generational um, housing. Meanwhile, the testing is done in collaboration with TriHealth on Sunday afternoons from 2 to 5 through August 16th. After that, they'll evaluate their next move. We gave it about two months or so to see, okay, what are the numbers in terms of how many people are accessing the site? Let's look to see uh, the po positive cases, who's coming in. Lisa Smith, WCPO 9 News.